So, the first of the hunter chases is the old Captain Tim Forster. Two mile handicap chase, and there's just two runners. Brilliant melody for Alex and Jemima Cartwell for myself. So this will be a very quiet comp. Maybe we open, uh, maybe when Graham listens to this, but he might not. Maybe we open the hunter chases up to 105 or something for the last couple of weeks. Get the fields up. Give some, uh, obviously just proves how good the horses are. Much more varied. So anyway, Gray, if you're listening, that'll be a good thing to do. Maybe make them 105. Anybody else that's listening to this won't know that. <laughs> I don't think making a quick rating change will make too much difference, but it'll give us a few more runners in the last couple of weeks. So to this race, they're already through two of the fences, and coming down to the third, it will be brilliant melody from Alex Cherry that leads us from Jemima Cartwell of Stu Graham. Sorry, that's only the second. Top of the mile and a half to go, there's still got another eight fences to take. Get over the third. I apologise, I don't have uh, the list of... Uh, Who's, who's the most and the scores on the door, should I say, for the Hunter Chases. We've moved office and uh, things are a little bit uh, in a mess. But I'll have it all up and ready for next week, including these results. So Alex Cherry's brilliant melody goes over the fourth. We should also say a big well done to Alex Cherry winning the uh, Cheltenham Charity Competition. The second year running. Seems to be uh, taking a good... Oh, and this time Joanna Cartwell went through that one. I haven't forgotten about Alex, I've just been so busy. I'll get it sorted shortly. But as we come down to the next, it's brilliant melody still. Take a little bit of a hold as we go out for another circuit. Under a mile, with four flights to take. Sorry, jumps, should I say, or fences. Past the old car parking cones. They all go over the six, or the two of them go over the six. So brilliant melody, taking a hold, allowing Jemima Cartwell to make a bit of a race of this. Jemima Cartwell gets a few reminders, so we can get closer. And then brilliant melody says go. Just trying to lull Jemima Cartwell into a full sense of security as they both go over the seventh. So brilliant melody. Jemima Cartwell, now she's coming back at him. Jemima Cartwell, a previous winner of a hunter chase. Oh, I both got over that ditch nice. So we're inside the final half mile. Brilliant Melody's being scrubbed along and uh, trying to get a better advantage. And Jemima Cartwell has got closer and not asked for anything yet. We've only got three furlongs to run. A couple to take, so it's Brilliant Melody. Still leads. Racing uphill now. All over that. And it's Brilliant Melody from Jemima Cartwell with a furlong and a half to run here at Sligo. Brilliant melody. Just by length. Just by my cartwheel. It's going to be a race on as we come inside the final furlong. They're both over it. Jemima my cartwheel was slow. And brilliant melody's got a three length advantage. We've got half a furlong left to run. It's brilliant melody from Jemima Cartwell. But brilliant melody's going to hang on to this. Jemima Cartwell's got nothing left. So an easy win there for Alex Jerry. Well done. Takes it with brilliant melody. The second was Jemima Cartwell. 